Model Making Guru is sponsored by eModels.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your model making needs. eModels.co.uk, make something awesome. Dave, Dave's the wise guy. I can never say it. Dave, where's the right? Well, Dave. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Fox from Model Making Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to another mystery package type video. Now this is gonna be a bit of a marathon episode. Um, it was my birthday yesterday, woo -hoo, happy birthday me. And a load of you sent me stuff and I'm like, oh, wow, thank you guys, it's awesome. You sent me all kinds of stuff. And uh, now part of it was a bit of a group where we do a birthday club thing and I'll go through that in a bit. Uh, and some of it was just people sending me things. Uh, and one was just a package that just happened to arrive on my birthday awesome so what i'm going to do i'm going to go through them all now in one video now some of them haven't arrived yet there are some things on the way to me that haven't yet turned up so uh, i'm going to paste all copy and paste all these together so this will be done over a period of a few days as packages turn up but it didn't really need to tell you that but there you go so yes so far we've had quite a few packages turn up so let me get ready and i'll show you what we've got so the first thing we got i've got a big package today from e-models one of the big massive boxes with the perfect gray millennium falcon yes that's not a birthday gift for me that's my next e-models build or next but one e-models build and they sent me something else but they did include a nice little packing slip happy birthday from me models smiley face thank you very much james and gav and john and everybody else yay thanks very much there you go brilliant birthday present absolutely free so that's that one now what's next i'm going to go through these not massively fast uh, but these are all pretty much mystery packages because i don't know what's in them uh, now we have two packages from well this is from chris you know chris at gross models uh, i think it's basically you could count it from chris and paul because they both had a hand in it. So we'll say it's from Chris at Gross Models and Paul at Glue to the Spree. So there's this and a second box. So the first one, now I haven't got any idea what these are, but I know I'm gonna either, just, it's gonna be something. It's I, just, I know them too well. Let's get this one open. What have you sent me, you ne'er-do-wells? We have a big pile of cardboard. Let's have a look. We have, <laughs> I saw something and it looks a bit, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna open it and see. There's no note in there, ready? Oh, hang on, there's a packing thing. I'm not looking at what it, the other thing is. Hang on, let me just make sure these aren't. Oh, there we go. Is that a receipt? Why is that? Oh, hang on, we've got receipt. Don't need to see that. Well, not a receipt, but uh, a gift note. Uh, a gift note from Chris for when it gets cold up north from Team Inept, and for your new camera from Chris. Okay, so it's two things. Let's have a look. What, what, <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? <laughs> I can see a nose. I can see a fuzzbutt nose. And another rumble. Like, what's, hang on, what's this? Amazon Basics. Oh, ooh, ah, aha. Right, we'll go to that in a minute. What on earth? It, what? This is. I'm getting nervous now. Hang on, let me get the knife of opening. Uh, there's a potential to be swimwear. What is this? What is this? It's a, a. It's a. What is that? It's a tube. I don't. Am I being exceptionally obtuse here? What? Uh, is this some kind of. A, hang on. Is this. A, oh, I see. Hang on. Is it like a snood? Is it like a, a face thing? I put that over my face. Okay, that makes sense. I had to think then for a minute. Let me see if I can put it on. You can't see this. I hope it's a snood because I put it on my face. If it's some kind of underwear, I've just made a right tit of myself. <laughs> uh, let's have a look, see if I can get it on. You can't see this, but it's on. <laughs> I really hope that's some kind of scarfy thing because if not, I've just made a right idiot of myself. Does it say on the packet? I'm throwing it over there now. Let's have a look. <laughs> doesn't it say oh mystery tubes i think it's some kind of snood see your, your goggles and things goes here cool awesome awesome thank you very much i really hope it's not kind of some lady underwear that would be quite embarrassing or some kind of thong it can't be a, no it can't be underwear you've got me worried now chris there's always something you send me and i'm like um uh, mm. right this should be Ooh. now if you remember 
uh, week before last, my live stream fell over because my camera died. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. My camera died uh, and my webcam died completely. And bless them, Cy Reynolds and Dad, Mike Mountain, before I'd had chance to even post up everywhere that the stream was postponed, had already ordered me a new one. And I was like, oh. So they ordered me a new webcam, um, a Logitech C920, which is fantastic. But for some reason, it's like a new release. You know, like companies, modify their products over time they just update them a bit and you know change the look the the leads about a foot shorter so if you're looking at buying a new one and you've got an old one just be aware the leads about a foot shorter so i was going to get myself one of these extension usb extenders but that's brilliant because i've got one so thank you chris uh, it was just I, I when i did the live stream on sunday i used the new camera which was fantastic but i couldn't get the camera quite across the across my desk so now with this i can i can have it all over the place so do thank you very much for those that is awesome I really hope that's not some kind of lady clothing. <laughs> I know my look. You've done that deliberately. So I put that on my head and I just did as well. And I, I'll take a photograph and insert it here somehow. I'll try and do a selfie in the mirror or something. And I'm just going to be embarrassed now. Right. I'll put those to one side. Uh, now I did get another box from Christoph and technically from Paul. So let me move the camera because it's a bit bigger uh, and I'll get that one. Stay tuned. Okay, now the second box from Chris slash Paul. I did check, and yes, the blurb for that thing says it is a winter tube scarf. I had this moment of existential crisis. I thought, as he sent me ladies' underwear that I'm putting on my face. I don't know. Right, what's in the next one? I sent him a picture and he went, oh, you've not opened the other one yet. I'm like, oh, let's see what this could be then. I almost dread to think now. So this is another one from Chris, uh, which I think technically is Chris and Paul. I think just put send it for each other so carefully carefully because I don't want to damage anything inside or as it would seem open it very well there you go oh I know I forgot to do Boink. oh, Boink. oh. Boink. damn it Boink. <laughs> okay that bounced everywhere forgot to do that right let's have a look and see if there's a note in here I don't want to look at too much at what's going on inside okay we'll just open it and see there shouldn't be any uh I'm not, I'm not looking too much. Is there any paperwork? Nope. Okay, right. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here. We have... Oh, what is this? What is, what is this? <laughs> what? Hang on, let me just get this paper out. What? Christopher Williams. What? <laughs> what have you sent me? There is a snake in my boot. Ah, oh, it's a rat. Oh. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> it's a proper cowboy type hat with stitchy. Oh, it's a nice, nice brim on it. I'm going to have to go back and take another picture now, aren't I? Oh, right, let's have a look at this. Let's get, get this on. Does it fit? It fits. Right. I need to now go and take another picture <laughs> with my snood on. Back in a second. Okay, next we have a wonderfully coloured, rather, I'm a bit nervous about packages that come with their own hazard stripes. Uh, it's a package from Vincent over at Mr. Loth's Model Making in lovely, lovely Belgium. And uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Terry, aka Smoo, and Colin Fester, 67's Workshop, and a load of other guys, we're all part of a, a birthday group where we all put a little bit of money in each month, um, and then we all get each other presents. It's like a birthday club thing, you know, whoever's birthday it is, everyone chips in, and they get some gifts. So uh, this is uh, one of a couple, I think two or three packages coming from that birthday club. Uh, this is one that Vincent has sourced locally to him. And I've got another one that I can see from here. Uh, but let's have a look and see what Vincent said. Now he's given me a clue. I think he basically has tried to take me out of my comfort zone a little bit. So we'll see. Now this has got wrapping paper on it. So I'm just going to slice here. I know it's not how you open presents. It's just Wow, this, this knife is so dull, it doesn't even cut through wrapping paper. Fantastic. So I've got no idea what this is. He's bought me a box of chips. Fantastic. That, can, that is well within my comfort zone. Big pile of paper is going to grow in the back of my room here. Right, that's that bit. Now for the opening. 
So yes, as I say, I've got this one coming from uh, Vincent on behalf of the birthday group. Uh, I've also got another one coming, two more coming, I think, from those guys. Basically, it's just it's a way you can all chip in and have a budget each month that then covers each each person's birthday. It's a really nice idea. Terry's been doing it for a year. It's a really nice idea. It's just a way of everybody's clubbing and get each other a nice present or two. Uh, and they did say, I think I think all of them said they want to try and get me out of my comfort zone. So let's have a look and see what they've sent. What's Vincent sent first of all? Well, first of all, we have some hopefully nice Belgian newspaper. I do like getting foreign newspaper. Spendige Kasten Legbanken van 19 mm Dikte in High Density met Metallen Dragers Geschrofte Rugwanden tot 8 mm Dikte wo mir Stevigade Metallen, ge metallen Geleiters in Shiny I just I sound like I'm trying to speak German and I'm not Never mind. Let's have a look and see I can see a box There's Japanese Let's have a look Ready? I'll, I'll put the box down here so it's out of the way Let's have a look and see What have we got? We have did you do? <laughs> oh, some, oh, mint, dude! Look at that! It's a little Japanese uh, sushi truck. Oh, modeling skills helpful for assembly. Oh, because it involves food and therefore an awesome kawaii characters. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. He says I've sent you something outside your comfort zone, and technically it's a vehicle, so it is outside my comfort zone. But you know what? That was mint. That looks absolutely mint. Oh, let's have a look at this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what scale is it? Is it 124? It is. Has it got a scale on it? Is it any scale? Uh, doesn't give a scale on it. Well, it might do, but it's not in English. Oh, look at that. I'm guessing 124. It's a little sort of Nissan high cube or whatever they're called, the little Toyota Nissan. Oh, it's adorable. It's an Aoshima kit. I've not tried an Aoshima kit before. Uh, Oshima. 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 Oh, it's little clear parts. It's not a lot. It's not a complicated kit. It's not millions of parts. It's got the racking there and the wheel hubs. All the bits of the interior. Oh, it's got a dude. It's got a dude as well who appears to have... <laughs> a I'll, I'll try and take a photograph but it's not kind of based on human that dude he kind of appears to have an enormous beak for a nose cool oh, look at that. oh that is mint that is absolutely mint i don't want to take the decals out but there's lots of little stripy logos and decals oh, advertising things oh that is fantastic that is i'm well chuffed for that i'm gonna have fun with that because that's just diorama territory now that because if you remember, I did do my transit van and I had incredibly good fun doing that. Now, I did weather that. I made it all weathered and beaten and knackered. Um, can't really do that with this. Or maybe a little tiny bit. Well, no, it's Japanese. It'll always be clean and spanky and pristine. So I'll have to make sure it's nice and clean. Oh, that is fantastic. That is. That is absolutely fantastic. Dude. <laughs> Love this guy. I'll take a photograph of that and show you. I don't quite understand his face. You'll see in a minute. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for that, Vincent. And I know um, Vincent and the guys. I think Vincent ordered it because he could get it. Maybe the guys couldn't. That is fantastic. I am actually really going to enjoy that. I'm looking forward to that. I'll be honest with you. I'm actually looking forward to that. That is mint. Thank you very much, guys. Now I know I've got another package for you, so I'm going to open that one in a second. But that's the first one from the birthday club. So thank you very, very much. That is awesome. That's octopus there, isn't it? kind of adorable. Uh, I don't know what scale it is. I think it's 124th. I'm going to guess it's about. It looks about 124th. Uh, does it say on the box? Doesn't. Actually, it's not in English anyway. I assume it's sushi. Maybe it just sells just octopus. He's the octopus man. Maybe. Oh, I mean. Taro yaks. Taco yaks. Taco yaks. I'll, I'll try and run some translation software and see what that says. Dude, thank you very much. And by default, dude's in the birthday club. Thank you very much for that. Let's put that to one side. 
I really am trapped in this room now. I'm going to have to try and put this box outside a bit more. I'll just make sure there's nothing else in the box. I don't want to miss anything. I think that's everything. Right, we'll get that box over there. Right, okay, next up we have the second package uh, from Smoo and the Birthday Club. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Now, this one has come from eModels. Uh, this was delivered alongside the big box for the uh, Perfect Grey Millennium Falcon. Like I said, that's not a birthday present, that one. So that's not part of this unboxing. You'll see that in a separate video. So let's see what this one is. And I think, I do think I've got one more package coming from the Smoo guys, from the Birthday Club guys. Uh, but that's not arrived yet. And I'm expecting more packages over the next day or two. So when you're watching this video, of course, it'll be a few days from now and I've got everything and opened everything. So I've probably already said thank you to you if you've sent me something. Right, let's have a look at this one. This is good old, uh, this is John doing his packing at eModels now, so it's well packed. Anything in there that I need to know about? There's a, I'll just grab the, just grab the things, get all those hidden away. Uh, I won't look at them because that tells me. Oh, there we go. But there is a little note in there and it says, happy birthday from Smoo and the Holiday Pool crew. Thank you very much, Smoo and the Holiday Pool crew. I'll get this box down and I'll get it open. Let's have a look and see. I'm going to try and not look at it until I get the thing out, wherever it may be. Make sure there's nothing in there. Throw the box over there. I'm not looking at what's in it. I can't actually get out of this room. I've just blocked the entire exit. Right, so let's have a look. I've got my eyes closed. Let's see what we've got. We have... Oh, Canadia! Canadia! Canadia Air. <laughs> That's it, Canadia Air. Canadia Air. Look at that. I, get, I see what you mean, guys, about getting me out of my comfort zone, but how... But then, way, how are you getting me out of my comfort zone? That's fantastic. Oh. Has he got any shots of it? Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is actually. I'm going to get this box open. The only problem with Ravel boxes is you can't open them top wise. So I can drag the things out. I've got to tell you guys, I've got to tell you. I'm actually impressed. Ooh, bright yellow. Oh, that's going to be massive. Wow. It's going to be... That's going to be huge. Right, there's nothing in the box. Let's have a look. It's a mint-looking plane as well. Canadair. Formerly known as the Canadair Steel 1415, the Bombardier 415 is a twin turboprop firefighting amphibian that specialises in water bombing. Yeah, I knew a girl like that once. Oh, look at them. Bright orange decals. <gasps> Ontario. It's Canada. How can I not like it? It's Canadia. Oh, that is, looks nice. Let me get this plastic out so you can see it. Oh, it's huge. <clears throat> see if I can open this a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want bits falling out everywhere. Let's see if I can get it open a little bit. Is there actually a, a hinge? Hinge. Dude, this is awesome. If you're going to get me out of my comfort zone, do it in style. Oh, look at this. Clear parts in a different different uh, bag. Keep them crisp and clean. Nice detail on that cockpit there. Uh, we have... Oh, this is going to be huge. Excellent recess panel lines. Good girl. Lots of rivet detail. That's the brightest yellow. I've never seen. I wasn't aware that Ravel actually colour moulded their plastic. They obviously do now. No, I don't know if you'll see on camera, but there seems to be a lot of nice surface detail. Lots of tiny, tiny rivet detail. Doesn't appear to have raised panel lines, which is good. Tons of detail on these. I don't know if you can see on the wings here. Little panel detail. Oh, this is actually really, really nice scale is this this is 170 second jeez must be a big plane holy cow that looks mint it's not a complicated build looks like only a, a small number of parts oh, that, be careful of this propeller it's come off i'll put that there for a second that looks awesome lots of very nice detail 
Okay, guys, you've got me to build a plane now. <laughs> awesome. I'm actually going to look forward to that. Many, many years ago, I did do my uh, Junkers JU88, which is 170. No, it was 148, I think. And that I had great fun doing that. So, although I say, I, you know, I don't really do planes that often, I will do them. And especially in this case, because it's a beautiful gift. I'm going to put that... I need to... I don't really want that rolling around in the bag, but I'll have to be careful with it. Uh, I want to... I'll put it in there for the moment. I just don't want it to get damaged or broken. Because that would be sadness. Looking at the cockpit. Can it be nice and clear. Lots of sort of uh, panelling detail on there. That's really nice. I hope all that was in focus because I've actually forgot. I got so excited by this. I've got forgotten exactly where the camera was. That is beautiful. That is going to be a good fun build, that. Oh, yeah. Ontario. Canadia A. Yeah, it won't be a, won't be a, won't be a complicated build. Might need some fettling. It might go together really nicely. We'll find out. Awesome, thank you, dudes. That is brilliant. That is fantastic, and I love the bright colour scheme. That is going to get some uh, solid painty painty. That lovely, lovely. Because it's in use in civilian aircraft, of course, it won't be bright and shiny clean. It'll be a little tiny bit of weathering. I can do a little bit of weathering. Just a, just a little tiny bit, little tiny bit of weathering. Just to give it a sort of in-use look. Right, so I'm going to put this in carefully because I've got to be careful of that propeller. Guys, thank you very much. That is really, really awesome. That was closed. That is really, really awesome. And I actually do quite want to build that now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got loads of Gundam and a Falcon and a submarine to build. That's going into the queue. That's going into the queue. I will do you proud, guys. I will try my best to do you proud. Ah, I love the detail on there. The anti-glare cover. That looks mint. That looks mint. Guys, thank you very, very much. I'll put that into the stash there. I will try and do you proud on that. So thank you very, very much. Right. Now, this package uh, wasn't actually sent to me for my birthday, but it just happened to arrive the day before my birthday. So we're going to count it as a birthday, but there is some stuff for Mama Fox in here as well. So we have... I'll have to move the camera again. Let me move the camera. It comes from uh, my very good friend Ted Crafton, who lives in Florida in the USA. And he decided he wanted to send me some treats. Treats for me and Mama Fox and some other bits and bobs. So I don't actually know what's in here. But I know there's treats. Good American, wholesome American treats. Let's find out. So let's get this open. Again, I don't actually know what he sent me. Let's find out. If it includes Mama Fox as well, then I'm going to guess it's food. Now, like I said, this wasn't sent for my birthday, um, but I'm treating it as a birthday gift. Let's have a look and see. See if there's a note first of all before I go in. Uh, yep, there's a note. Let me have a look. Oh, middle class Star Wars nonsense. <laughs> He says, Fox, as promised, here is your care package. I can't have you go another 20 years before your next snack, so enjoy. Just provide your own Mountain Dew and you too can be an American couch potato. Oh yeah, you can get Mountain Dew over here. I was going to send some local treats, but none of them would survive shipping. Well, they might survive, but there are laws against shipping dangerous animals in the post. Aha, Florida, yes. I hope Mama Fox enjoys the... I won't say what it is. It should help speed her recovery. Gumpler forever, he he, Ted Crafton, Florida, USA. P.S. Biplanes do not have easy line. They have flying wires. Cool, look at that, and just transform oh, Explode! Oh, Ted, awesome. <laughs> you nah, do well. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to put this down on the floor, and we'll do the usual get things out one by one. So let me move the camera and put this on the floor. Oops. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we've got. I can't believe you put Jar Jar and and a transmorpher in the same box. <gasps> oh, why I order. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 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 yes. Like a machine gun. That 
was the noisiest bit ever. I do apologize. I don't apologize at all. I love every minute of that. Right. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh. More. <sighs> Best presents ever. Right. Let's get serious now. Let's see what we've got. We have. We have. We. Wait. Wait. We have, oh my dog. I sound like the guy from Ants Canada then. Oh my God, Ants family. Oh, it's like foot long sweet Slim Jims. Oh, I'm gonna have one now. Oh, oh. Dude, oh, if you watched recently when I got a pack of Slim Jims, I got a pack of Slim Jims and it was like they're the nicest things ever and you can't get them over here. Now he sent me a pack and they're like that long. That's a foot long, almost a foot long. Oh. Now I have to also say I found out afterwards that what you can do with Slim Jims and I have to do this is actually chop them up into little pieces and put them into things like spaghetti bolognese or casseroles and things. I seriously need to try that. Oh yeah. Slim Jims in your spaghetti or your, or your chili or your curry. Oh yeah. Right, I've forgotten how you open these things now. There's a knack to it. Oh, come on now, come on now. Come on. Oh, right. I can't be. There we go. Get off. Get off. The Fräulein mit Zonkins, the Fräulein in the Hof. Fräulein in the Donkey, she says, get off. Right, I can't get this open now. It's, it's hurting my mind. Right, there we go. <gasps> oh, mine, mine. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, God, that's so nice. If you've never had Slim Jims, if you know someone who can get them for you, get them, because they do taste like, I can't get it out. <laughs> There's so much imagery going on here. They do taste like mm, mulligatawny soup combined with oxtail soup mm, in all the best ways. Mm, I'll put that to one side of that. I'll just sit here eating for the next 10 minutes. Look at that. That's like 100 Slim Jims. I've got buffalo style, uh, mild. Sweet and hot. I knew a girl like that one. I didn't know a girl like that one. I never knew a girl like that. Cracked pepper, New York, that's buffalo style. <gasps> all different flavors and it's, it's, it's Slim Jims all the way. It's turtles all the way down. Oh, dude, dude, and it's from Best Buy. Oh no, Best Buy, <laughs> not Best Buy, it's just Best Buy. I'm an idiot, what can I say? One more nibble, then we'll do the next. Oh, oh so nice. What is next? Mouth is watering like a, God knows what now. <gasps> Oh, can I do one excited hand? Oh, you know, like last time we had Slim Jims and we had Animal Crackers and we had Twinkies and we had um, um, uh, Cracker Jacks, like four classic, classic American snack foods. Ding dongs. This is all the real classic things that everybody refers to and I've never had. Oh, I've got to try one, aren't I? Oh, ding dongs. They're just like classic American snacks that you hear about. And of course, because it's a different country, it's kind of exotic sounding. Hostess, made by the same people that make the Twinkies. <gasps> oh, oh, I've got to try it. I've got to do it. You know, if there's a mystery package video and there's food, it's got to be done. Right, so apparently it's chocolate with brown and white. That's my lengthy analysis. Now it smells. Now, if you remember in past videos, I've explained that Americans really can't do chocolate. They just, they don't know how to do chocolate at all. They just haven't got a clue. Things like Oreos. But this smells like proper chocolate. Oh, this smells really nice. Are we ready? My first ever ding dong. There's so many jokes. Mmm. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, basically, it's everywhere. It's basically chocolate and sponge and cream. 
Oh, it's nice though. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm, nom, nom. There is now no moisture in my mouth at all. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That actually tastes like a European chocolatey spongy snack. It tastes like um, I can't place it. It tastes exactly like something, but I can't think what it is. Very nice, but it tastes like proper chocolate. So the Americans can do proper chocolate. If you can do proper chocolate like this, why why do you just do bad chocolate? Oh, that's nice. Right, Mama Fox is gonna love those. I'll have to keep my eyes because she'll have some of these, and all. I'll be like, I've only got one left. Thanks, Mum. Right, what's next? We have many things. <gasps> Hang on. Yes. Right, many things. We have. What's this? That's an empty bag. We have. Oh! Hang on, I've seen something. <laughs> yes, ten pack. <gasps> Twinkies. Yes, I'll be. It's got to be. You know the rules. If you send me food and it's something I don't need to cook or prepare. Yes. Incidentally, um, I forget now, I do apologize, I forget who it was that sent me some Korean death noodles last, it was like way back in the summer. He sent me a big pack of Korean death noodles and one of the big massive pots. I had it because the weather's gone cold now. I can actually eat them without melting away in sweat. So I had the big massive pot of Korean death noodles. I forget who sent it to me, I do apologize. It was really nice and I was so hungry. I got two of the, I got one of the packets of death noodles and I got one of the pots of death noodles and I mixed them together and made them. Oh, it was so nice. Right, Twinkie time. Mama Fox is going to love these as well, so I'll get one now while I've got a chance. It's like a, it's like a sea cucumber. It is like a sea cucumber. Mmm. Um. I get the impression, if you were to eat a nudie branch, a sea cucumber, it would kind of taste like this and look like and feel like this. Um. Nom, 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 nom. Um. I need to oh oh no oh, didn't plan that well mm. oh Twinkies I do like Twinkies right let's see what's next we have some tins I'm not sure what these are let's have a look we have some Ooh, Vermont Liberty Tea Company Ah, this is for Mama Fox now. Ooh, organic Singel, breakfast blend, organic Ceylon, and Yorkshire Harrogate. Now, okay, black teas. Yorkshire tea from America, mind blown. I've got to smell this. See, I'm not a big tea drinker until I discovered Barry's tea. And I do, I do quite like um, Yorkshire tea. But let's see if the Americans can make Yorkshire tea. <gasps> Have a smell. Ready? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. How full is that? How full is that? And it's proper tea in, in a tin, not a bag. Get the tea strainer out, Mum. And the teapot. Oh. And I have to say, Ted, I'm impressed. Ooh, nice. It's a much coarser blend. I have to say, Ted, I'm impressed. Not only as an American that you know your tea, but also oh, look at that. Oh yeah, this is this is uh, this is the organic single Darjeeling. I missed a whole word off when I read it. Not only do you know your tea, but you do you do proper tea in a tin, not tea in a bag. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. And you also have Yorkshire tea, which. Now my desk is covered in tea. Dude, that's, I'll just get this oh, mess. Mama Fox is gonna like this. Because Mama Fox doesn't drink coffee, she drinks tea. I have the occasional cup of tea. So Mama Fox is gonna like that. She likes your Yorkshire tea. Uh, I think she's got a thing for Darjeeling. I don't think she's tried, she'll give that a go, she'll like that. Uh, I don't think she's tried Ceylon, so that'll be kind of new. Awesome, P proper tea for Mama Fox. Oh, she's gonna like that. You're spoiling her. Right, what's left? Okay, we've got one thing left now. 
This is not for Mama Fox. This is not at all for Mama Fox. This is oh, SE5A Wolsey Viper. Because I've said before, I quite like uh, I quite like me, me biplanes. I've not made one in millions of years, but I do like biplanes. And it's an Edward <gasps> Wolsey Viper, dude, dude. What's going on? Are we on one. It's a weekend build, one forty-eight. It's nice and big. It's a weekend build, so it's one of their more sort of straightforward. It's not super, super, super complex with tons of photo etch and stuff. So a nice, relaxing build. Lots of clear parts on a on a spinny wheel. I like that. A wheel of a wheel of clear parts. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And I got I've got two now. I think. Uh, oh no, the other one I had was a giveaway prize, wasn't it? Uh, which have we given it away yet? I can't remember. I think we did give it away. I think I forgot what it was now. But I got one on my own now. Ooh, yeah, that's why he says about it's not easy line. What did he say? He said. Uh, he said in his note. Where's his note? Biplanes do not have easy line. They have flying wires. I know easy line is just the name of the the product, but we use easy line. But yes, they are flying wires. Control rigging, perhaps. But yeah, this is an Edward kit. So look at the details. It's got some fantastic. It's even got texture to the wheels, like the little sort of spirally, not spirally, but the little texture to the wheel hubs. That looks gorgeous. Right, awesome. So I have more biplanage. So I've got three biplanes to play with now. Oh yeah, big massive decals. I'm not going to get them out because I've got Twinkie fingers. That doesn't sound right, really, does it? Twinkie finger. Okay, fantastic. That is gorgeous, dude. Thank you very much. Schweinhund! I'm going to actually enjoy building that. And I'm going to be doing that one, not this one. Because that was cool. And it's bigger, but that one. It's got to be green. It's got to be green. It's got to be your military colours. Yeah. First World War biplane colouring. Dude, thank you very much. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for, all, of course, all these noms. I'll do a proper list of thank yous at the end of the video when I know everything that's been sent and who sent me what. But if you excuse me, I need to just... I need, I need to go on... Well, no, actually. I need to give them to Mama Fox. I need... I've got some important business to take care of. Um, I've, I've basically got Gatling Slim Jims. Kick ass. I'll be back in a minute and I'll be a bit fatter. That was a nice intermission, wasn't it? You could learn something there. Right, what's next? Next we have this mystery package. Really mystery. It's a mystery how it got to me with no address on there or anything. It's amazing. Look, it's, just, it's amazing. Right, so this is, I did take the label off. It's from Games Workshop. So it gives me an idea. Let's have a look and see what this is and who this one's from. I suspect it contains something. Let's have a look and see. Do, 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 do. Should we see if there's a note in there? Any kind of notes? Because sometimes they come with notes. No, but we do have. Yeah. There's a note of some sort. There's a. Let's we'll get these done first. Yes, 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 yes. Happiness. Throw them away. We have. Uh, an invoicey thing. Don't want to look at that because it might tell what's in it. We have a card. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday, Fox, from the birthday pool crew, Smoo. Ah, oh, lovely. It's the third one from the Smoo birthday pool gang. Thank you very much, guys. I'll, again, I'll give full shout outs at the end so everybody knows. So I can say thank you to everybody. Nice one. Thank you very much. Let's have a look. We have another one. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. That's from Games Workshop. We have an envelope. Uh, we have, oh hello, what's this? We have, oh that's very cunning of you, that's very cool, look at this. Now you've bought something from us, here's a thing that may make you go and buy lots more things. Especially as gifts, it's their gift guide. What they mean is, gift to yourself. Yeah, awesome, I'll have a go through that later and have a read. It's always good to look through catalogues, catalogues of fun things. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. We have 
Oh, it's one of these. It's one of these where it doesn't say on the box what it is. I've not understood this. It's not understanding this. I'm not going to look at the label because I want the surprise. I ordered the Torox for Chris at Gross Models. And it didn't come in the Torox box. It came in this. So I think when it's a gift, maybe, they just put it in a, in a white box so you don't know. Let's find out. I'll see if I can find out what it is by opening it. Ready? We have... Ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? It's a big stand. And a small base. And a square. Ooh. I'm seeing symbols here. I'm thinking this is Sigma. I'm thinking this is Sigma. I've got no idea what it is just by looking at the parts. But it looks... I love, I love the detail. Look at the things on this. <gasps> That's a horsey horse. <gasps> I've got a hoss. Ooh, I'm liking this. Hang on, let's have a look. See what it is. Let's just see what it is, shall we? Let's have a look. It is a Empire Celestial Hurricanum Luminarch of the Heish. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. <gasps> it's a horsey cart. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Ah, uh, uh, Vincent did did give me a few little tiny clues, but I had no idea what it was. Look at that. It's like a. I see like a horsey cart but they've got an orrery orrery the celestial hurricanum or orrery as we call it or the luminarch of the hish or the heish so there's all these lenses look at that that's gorgeous imagine painting all them lenses there's a lot of potential there for lens painting it's got two horsey horses that's awesome now they did say like i said earlier on they did say they wanted to take me out of my comfort zone and i'm a 40k man so sigma is something i wouldn't normally build but i think i'm going to enjoy building that and i think oh it's got two dudes has two has two dudes on it if you do the uh what's it called again hurricanum yeah i think i may have to go for the hurricanum because although the the luminarch of the hish looks quite impressive that just looks badass it's just ridiculously bad that's the most 40k sigma i've seen oh look at that that's going to be awesome I think I'm going to enjoy building that greatly. Let's have a look at the sprues. Horsey bits. Beautiful detail. Absolutely gorgeous detail. You've got little bits of fur longer hair on the on the hooves, so they're more like um dray horses. I've never painted a horsey. All this lovely little sort of fretwork and filigree on the wagon parts. That's beautiful. Look at that telescopes books <gasps> all kinds of oh wow this is going to be a f such fun to paint because there's so many little tiny details and it's packed with them we've got the two dudes here oh, that is gorgeous lots of detail on this i don't know if you can see it on his uh, on his sort of tabard loads of little engraved details that is beautiful yes and of course gonna have a lot of gold bling my favorite lots of gold that is fantastic i'm going to do it i think as the hurricanum i think because it just looks insane let me just uh, put the instructions in first come here come, on, come out there we go so that's for the horsey carty horse i'm not sure what the square one's for we'll find out when we build it awesome let me put the instructions in there we go absolutely fantastic yeah we're gonna have to build the we're gonna have to build the hurricanum i think because I mean, just, yeah looks much more ridiculous lovely guys thank you very much for this and the big plane and the um octopus ball truck that is beautiful thank you i'm gonna have a great time painting that i'm gonna have absolutely massive fun painting that so thank you for all those three presents smooth birthday group uh what is next let me get the next box ready Okay, now the next one, this oddly shaped package. Uh, now, I don't know who this is from, but I suspect, because he told me to look out for shonky packing, <laughs> I suspect this is from Dad, Mike Mountain. So this will be stuff from Dad, Dave, Scott, and Kenneth. So let's open this one and find out. Again, I'll do proper thank yous for everybody at the end. But let's, uh, I'm just too excited to be doing all that now. I need to get things open, see what my goodies are. Okay, this may take a, a few moments. Dad likes packing things in a certain way. 
there. Let's have a look. Where's the? That's that bit there. I think I'm going to have to invest in a new knife, you know, because this knife is uh, it's becoming more of a well, it's blunt enough now to be a spatula. Let's just be honest. There, we'll, we'll just get manly with it. Okay, right. There's a note. I'll just see what that. I'll just get the note out. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, there's all kinds of. Ugh. Let me get the note out first. Ooh. Blimey, Dad. Have you packed this now? Oh, something came out with it. Right. First of all, we have. Uh, happy birthday, Fox. Have a great day from Dad, Mike, Kenneth, the Aussie bearded one, Dave Butcher, Scott Puffin Master. Yes. Awesome. Oh, momentous occasion. Happy birthday, Fox. Sweet. Oh, I've, I used to watch that. I can't remember who they are, but I remember them. I used to watch the videos and they were awesome. And I can't remember. Oh, you've just triggered a memory now. Triggered a memory. Oh, I've got the thing with the tutor hat and the. Oh. <laughs> and there's uh, Dad, Ted. Dave and Scott. Oh, I need to go and look them up now because I, I remember something about them. I remember them completely. There was something that you can make greetings cards, animated greetings cards. I need to go and I need to go and research that later because that's I used to love their stuff. <laughs> Thank you to you for. Right, so we've got something. This something fell out first of all. Let's just find out what we've got. Hang on, let me just get the box open over here so you can't see it. I've seen something. I've seen. I've seen something. Hang on, let's just see what this is first. Open on the 24th, Fox. Oh. Oh. Yeah, all right, I'll put that to one. I'll be a good lad and I'll put that to one side. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Can you see what I see? Right, let's get this box open. He's taped it in all the weird places. see something that's something I've actually been after for a while but that Odo needs to not get stressed about oh I've just seen something else oh right first of all we have we have yes yes this is gonna have come from Scott Fox happy birthday from Scott dad Dave and Kenneth oh, finally I've actually got a little tiny puffin because I've got my big Odo I've got Big Odo, of course, who shouldn't feel jealous about this, but Big Odo is brilliant, but he's not really transportable. I can't take him with me anywhere. So I said I said a while ago, I need to get a squishy one so I can take him around and he can appear in things. Look, it's so, oh, so adorable. There you go. Uh, has he got a name? His name is, his name is Guthorm Sigurdsson. Guthorm, 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 Guthorm Sigurdsson. Guth, please take care of Guthorm Sigurdsson, please take care of me. Oh, it's adorable. I like the way they're all named. And they're all named after like Viking lairds and landowners and lords and stuff. And kings. Awesome. Scott, thank you for that. Let's see what this is. Fox. Oh, from Jackie and Neves. This is stuck to this. Hang on. Okay, right. So that's that's him from Scott. That's Guthorn. 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 Thank you very much. He will now be my little mascot. He can go in pocket at things. Okay, so I do have a couple of things from Kenneth uh, in Australia land, but I'm going to open the. I'm not opening these now. I did actually accidentally open the uh, the Christmas card before I realised it was the Christmas card from Kenneth. Some very nice things he said in there. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Very very nice. Uh, so I'm going to leave these till Christmas Day because I'm going to hang out with Kenneth and the gang for a little bit on Christmas Day in the evening. Um, so I'm going to open them then. So I'm saving those for the Christmas Day. Uh, there is one that he sent me that. I can't save till Christmas Day because it's right in front of me. Oh, Tim Tams. He sent me Tim Tams before and Tim Tams are fun. I have done the Tim Tam Slam. I can strongly recommend the Tim Tam Slam. So, Kenneth, I'm going to have to. I can't. I can't. Oh, Mama, Mama Fox like these as well. So these, these have to be dealt with, you know, kind of now. I can't wait to Christmas for those. So thank you very much for those, Kenneth. Very sweet of you. I'll save the other ones for Christmas Day. What else have we got? Oh, 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 oh. I'm Scott, oh, give me another fudge. Got me done. It's got me done. I've got to do it now. Oh, you know me. I said if it's food. In fact, I need to have a Tim Tam as well, don't I? But I can't have a Tim Tam slam because I've not got a coffee. So that's oh. just. Yeah, it's just the wrong knife to open fudge with. 
be done. I said, if it's food and I don't need to prepare it, I could just open it like that, couldn't I? Oh, it's just all gone wrong. There we go. Oh, ready? <laughs> no, I've got to do it in time now. He sent me food, and it doesn't need preparing. I have to eat it. Oh, the smell of it. Nobody makes chocolate like the Europeans and Australians. Ready? Mmm. 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 I took a lot of eating that did. Mm. Tim Tams have the finest flavour. It's not like a it's like a chocolate biscuit, but there's a hint of something else in there. A little hint of savoury, but only the tiniest hint. And if you haven't done a Tim Tam slam, yeah, Tim Tam slam. Yeah. Oh, right. We have more things. We have. Oh, what are these? We have a tiny bag of. What look like tiny brushes? What are these? They are the tiny brushes. Tiny brushes. Where have these come from? These are absolutely adorable little tiny. Is that a lid on the end or is it just a bit of? I thought that might come off and go on there. But little tiny brushes. Look at that. How awesome. The little bits of fine painting. I like those. Awesome source. Whoever sent those, thank you very much. One of the I can't get it back in now. One of the guys included those. Very, very nice. Thank you. They should come in most handy. They'll be really handy for uh, when I do like gloss varnish on gunpla eyes to get the little pointy brush in there. It'll be really handy. Right, we've got. Oh, wait. Wait. Let's put them back in there for a start. Oh, get, get organized, Fox. Get organized. It's all the excitement. We have more fudge. Oh. Highland Park Malt Whiskey Fudge. Oh, chili fudge. That's actually really nice. Chili fudge. I can't eat it all because I've, I've just had my tea, so I can't eat too much. But yes, I, I've had that before. That is really, really, really nice. It's not that hot and spicy, but it's the flavour. It's like a really dark, savoury flavour. This. Mm, not tried that before. That's going to be interesting. Don't think I've had that one before. Yes, I can't eat too much now, though, because I've just had my tea, so. What's next? We have, we have, first of all, oh, that's going to come from Dad. Dad, thank you very much. It's the new Citadel water pot. It says there, Citadel water pot. It's ribbed for my convenience. Uh, ribbed so you can get the schmutz off your brush. But the best bit is, the best bit, if I can find the brush now, is that when you, when you finish your painting, these little slits down here, you get your brush in and you run that in that little slit and it, you twist it. And it makes your brush into a point for you. So you don't have to do that or you just brilliant. Thank you very much, Dad. That will come in most handy. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. We have a dad device. Da -da -da, da -da device. Now, there's a second part to this, I think. I'll wait till I find it to show you what it is. But this is, if I can find the second part somewhere. There it is. This is the awesomest might be thinking why has he sent me a miniature hangman's scaffolding it's not let me show you something that will blow your tiny mind ready watch this shade device first of all it's an anti-spillage device oh, <laughs> yeah i spilled some shade the other day it went on my cutting mat, my, my scruffy mat, thankfully. However, this is where Dad's genius, pure genius, comes in. Because watch this. Look at that. <laughs> that was the best thing Dad ever thought of. So now you can open your lid, have a little bit of paint in the reservoir thing here. And it doesn't close. You don't have to fight with it. And because it's slidey up and downy, you can use it on paint pots as well. Let's have a look. 
Dad, this is just freaking genius. Look, I assume it fits on paintballs. Let's have a go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He shoots. He scores. Look at that. That is just the best thing ever. The best thing ever. Dad, thank you so much. Because I was using the uh, his dad's glue thing, taking the glue out and putting my shades in there, but they wobble around. This is specifically now for Citadel paint pots. <gasps> That's going to stay on my desk. Thank you very much, Dad. You are a true genius. Next, we have some bubble wrap. Oh yes, no explosive gas. We have, oh, hello. Oh, this is, I'm going to assume, it's not a bread, it's not a breadboard for the electronics, it might be. Does it open or is it just solid? I think it's just solid. I'm assuming it's a, uh, a dry brushing, a thing for drying your brushes. I don't know. Um, is it? Dad, you left Mike to tell me about what this one is. I'm going to assume it's for storing your brushes. Is it this way? Is it not? It's not really. Is it deep enough for that? So it's not for that, but it might be for just standing your brushes up that way, maybe. Dad, am I missing something in the rest of the... I'm, I'll keep going through the box. I might be missing something. I might have half of this. Tell me what this is. I'm not sure what this is. It could just... Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Being special. Look. Look. <sighs> I've been wanting one of these for ages and I because I'm sick of having big bits of foam it's a it's a breadboard for your for your grabby clips there you go apart from that one obviously which is rubbish it's a breadboard for your grippy sticks oh, fantastic that's awesome I can't believe I didn't I was like can't be a brush thing because it's not deep enough and it's not I'm not into electric so it can't be a breadboard for thank you very much guys most kind that will come in very handy right i can see two more things now what have you guys done oh with the, oh spending money like nobody's business right you're very naughty but thank you very much they've sent me a sentinel thank you very much it's like a rip off of an attack walker but for your astro militarum because i have an imperial army remember my unholy forces of the what are they called the something unending forces of I forgot them. the unending forces of the holy contrivance, a sentinel, which is basically an ATST, it's awesome, and and I've just spotted this get out of the box. Oh, what are you like, you two, three? A chimera. Look at that a chimera. I've got a Lehman Rust tank, but that's the only vehicle I've got really for the Astra Militarum ground vehicle. Now I've got three. They're supposed to be very good, the Chimeras as well. Very powerful. Oh, let's have a quick look at this then. Quick look at this. Guys, what you like. Thank you very much. Very, very kind of you all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this. Like the Lehman Russ, it's like dead simple to build. Dead straightforward. Not moving tracks, obvs the detail on that we've got the dude that sticks at the top kick ass got wires and bits and bobs and smoke launchers no interior there's a i think there's a slight interior on this is a full interior or just a basic interior i think it's a basic interior which is fine because then i can just get paint the outside oh and it's a full interior cool kick ass oh Yeah, building the tracks on these things is dead simple. It's just stick them on. I love it. It's dead straightforward. Awesome. Yes, I was looking at getting... Uh, I need to get some more land vehicles. Because I've got my Torox now for me, for me Scions. And I've got my Lehman Russ. But that's it for ground vehicles for me Imperial Guard. So now I've got this as well. My Chimera. I've got my Sentinel. Oh, fudge. I need to go and eat all that fudge. But I've just had my tea. I have to wait till a bit later and of course i've got hang on i've got to learn his name guthorm guthorm with an m on the end guthorm i like that he's so adorable look at that he's just so cute and adorable see now i can i can take him with me to things and shows and i can have him like scott does he have, has his having adventures and stuff looking around 
That's so adorable. Guys, thank you very, very much. That is super, super awesome. And don't forget, of course, Kenneth, I'll be opening your prezzies on Christmas Day when we do a little hangout. So I'll see you then. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. <laughs> okay, next up, we have this mysterious box. Now, I said, I think earlier on that I was expecting two more final packages. One has arrived, and I've already opened that. I didn't film it because it was a personal gift from somebody. So I've done that one. And I've got one more that's on the way, but it seems to have disappeared in the post a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video up and then when that final one does turn up at some point, I'll film the unboxing of that separately. Uh, but this, I don't know what this is. This is not something I expected. So let's find out what this is. I know there are a couple of things that are coming to me, but I don't think I should have had them yet. So this, I have no idea. <clears throat> so let's see, we have a box. It smells actually. It smells nice. It smells it's got a funny smell to it. Not a funny smell, but a, a a nice clean smell. Anyway, let's find out. I've got no idea what this is. So this is a complete mystery to me. This is. I'll see if there's a note. Is there a note inside? I think there's a there's a there's something. Let's see what that is. I'll get that card. Let's make sure there's not. Okay, so there's a card thing here. Ooh, your order has been made and put together by Amy. Enjoy. Fudge. Fudge. <gasps> Fudge. Caring for your... Hello. What is this? What is this? Ooh, very nice. I thought it smelled rather pleasant. I saw the word fudge. What the... Wow, that's heavy. Oh, wow. What? This is... This is... Uh, I'll just demonstrate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, bright purple colour. <gasps> the Old Kill Fudge Pantry. Quality confectionery from the heart of Scotland. We've got white chocolate fudge, raspberry pavlova, espresso choc fudge, and death by chocolate fudge. <gasps> but I don't know who this is from. I'm going to hazard a guess, perhaps, and say it's come... I'm, I'm going to guess it's an extra one from Scott in Orkney. Maybe, there's only three people I know in Scotland. That's Smoo, Speedy Q8, and Scott. Uh, oh, no, Carl. I think Carl's in Scotland as well. So, Carl, there's not a name on here. Uh, order made and put together by Amy. Love the fudge. Tell us what you think. Uh, www.ochilfudgepantry.co.uk or Ochil Ochil Fudge Pantry. Follow us on Facebook. Traditional hand beaten proper fudge. Traditional hand beaten proper fudge. Caring for your fudge. Your fudge is best stored in cool, dry conditions and at temperatures of no more than eighteen degrees centigrade. Improper storage of your fudge will shorten its shelf. I'm gonna have to be putting the fudge thing up so many times now, aren't I? pain in the ass actually to be honest improper storage of your fudge will shorten its shelf life you can also store your fudge in the fridge allow the fudge to return to room temperature to enable full flavor before eating fudge can also be frozen check out www.ochilfudgepantry.co.uk forward slash blogs forward slash news for more hints and tips that's all irrelevant because this won't last more than five minutes for fudge's sake so whoever sent me this, thank you very much. There's no card in there, so I don't know who sent it. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this selection of butter-rich, oh, butter traditionally made, award-winning fudge. We produce over 25 flavours every week, so once you have scoffed this lot, then please visit our online store and try some more. I'm going to have to... You know the rules. You know the rules. I've explained the rules now. Uh, we're going to have to go by... No, let's go from that end. Let's go for the espresso chock. Coffee and fudge in the same food stuff. Yeah. Ingredients, sugar, milk, butter, cocoa, 7%, golden syrup, oh, glucose syrup, Arabica coffee beans. Ooh. Ooh. I wasn't expecting, as I say, one, one of the things turned up and that's something I've opened off camera. And one of them is away, yet to appear, so I really wasn't expecting this particular... Uh, wonderful, wonderful gift. I'm going to see if I can break a piece off now. And my hands are clean now, before anybody panics. Oh! Are we ready? 
that was quite tough that i'm ignoring the preparation guides i'm just gonna ow. Oh. oh it's fudge and it's coffee in the same oh. 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 got it got it i've got to try and break more off oh that's a massive piece of all that I've got to leave some for Mama Fox. Oh, crumbly, crumbly. More. I'm going to have to clean the bench after this. Look. Oh, um. I never said, oh, oh screw it. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. That is delicious. I'm going to have to get these little bits off my desk now. Oh, I've made a mess, Mum. That is nom 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 delicious. Well, whoever sent me this, thank you very, very much. I'm super, super grateful. That won't last more than about a day. Oh, that is so nice. Nom 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 I can still taste it. Mm. Right. Let me just get a piece of tissue and get this fudge off my desk. I'm going to have to add the word fudge in an overlay so many times now. Oh, fudge. Right. Oh, brilliant. Well, that's going to do us. Like I say, we've got one more thing to come, uh, and I don't know when that's coming because it seems to have got delayed in the post. So it might even might be tomorrow. It could be a week from now. So what I'm going to do, rather than leave this video too much longer, um, is just get this posted up now, and then when the final thing arrives, I'll let you know. I'll film that, and I'll do a separate video. I think I might have one other thing that was sent after my birthday as well. So I'll, I'll probably combine them both. So apologies, we are missing one thing. Uh, you know who you are, and apologies, I'm not including it in this video. So I'd, I'd just rather get this up and posted now. And then I'll, I'll film, I'll film, you know who you are, I'll film yours when it arrives. Ah, thank you very much, Amy, who packed this. Amy, I love you, Amy. You're brilliant, because you packed this and sent it to me. I love Amy, she's brilliant. I want to marry her and everything. There you go. <laughs> anyway, oh, thank you very much to everybody who sent me gifts. I have a list to read. So I have to say a massive, massive thank you uh, to Mike Mountain, aka Dad, from Scaly Models. Uh, Dave, Dave's the wise group. I can never say it. Dave, where's the right... Well, Dave, <laughs> Dave, why is the rum gone Barker from Butcher That Models? Uh, Scott Sutherland from Orkney, who is the Drunk Works. Uh, my very, very, very good friend Kenneth over in Australia land, the Upside Down Man, who is the god of uh, Instagram. Uh, we have Chris from Gross Models and Paul from Glue to the Sprue. We have Smooth from Smooth's Workshop, Colin from Festa67, uh, Chandra, Gordon and Vincent from Mr. Les Model Making. We have Cy Reynolds uh, and we have Ted Crafton. Now you haven't seen Cy Reynolds, that's the one that's not turned up yet. But I want to say thank you to Cy Reynolds anyway. And Ted Crafton who accidentally sent me a birthday package. It wasn't meant for my birthday but it got there on time. That's going to do us. Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for everybody who sent me something. Thank you to everybody who said happy birthday and sent me good wishes. <sighs> I can say I'll do another one of these videos when the final gift does turn up. Uh, and I think there'll be another one I can do at the same time. Uh, I'm going to be putting up another video tomorrow. A little weathering guide video uh, for the Torox. I've just about finished the Torox now, so I've, the last little bit of weathering I've done as a little tutorial. So that's going to go up in the next day or so. Uh, that'll be on Patreon for a week and then released to everybody else. Uh, and if you're watching this on Monday, I'll see you tonight for tonight's eModel show. So it just remains for me to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can keep up to date with all my videos. Uh, do pop along to the Model Makers Boom Hut on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash model boom hut. It's the best online group for model making. Dead friendly, dead safe environment. Nobody can give you any nonsense. No rivet counters. We don't allow it. And lastly, don't forget, of course, if you'd like to help support this channel, you can either uh, subscribe or well, subscribe is the word really, but help support me via Patreon, patreon.com forward slash model making guru, where you get various rewards for, uh, for uh, supporting me each month. Uh, or you can use the links down below, the affiliate links to purchase bits and bobs from Amazon. That helps me out as well. But that's going to do me. So thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome. Don't go near my fudge. This is mine. You can't touch it. Don't even think about touching this now. I'll, I'll just bite your arm off. And then I'll spit it out because it's not fudge. I've said fudge again. Oh, stop saying fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, adios amoebas. Oh, got 500 overlays now. Oh, fudge.